today's video, we are going to talk about how you can change standard text elements in success factors, which you can now do without going into provisioning. So let's get going. Before I start showing you how to make these changes in the system, I first want to put my consultant hat on for a second and provide you with some cautions. Um, first caution is standard labels equals standard translations from success factors. So if you change a, a, a terminology in one language, it follows that you're probably going to need to make that same change in other languages as well. So keep in mind that your change that you're thinking of, that you're only making in one place, if you have several languages, you're probably going to end up needing to make it in, in several other languages as well. Secondly, this can have ripple effects uh, whenever you start making label changes because from my experience, once you start opening this door, uh, it can be a little bit of a Pandora's box. So first of all, uh, if you're changing uh, terminology, it could show up in, in lots of different places, but also the standard then becomes, uh, hey, do we want to make this sort of, sort of change? Would, would, would this be my preference um, you know, as a, as a uh, business person? Would I prefer uh, this terminology be uh, phrased a little bit differently? Uh, so it, it really becomes something you got to be very careful with. And what I would tell you is that the, the question shouldn't be, can we change this? The, uh, it should be, uh, do we have to change this in order to avoid confusion? So it should be a much higher standard uh, in your project to start making these types of changes. Otherwise, people will get used to and uh, adapt to uh, the terminology that is already there in the system. So with that out of the way, let's go in and I'm going to show you how to use these. So there are actually two places that we go in order to make these kinds of uh, text changes within success factors. Uh, I'm going to go through the first one now, which is called text replacement. And then we're going to go to manage languages uh, here in a bit. Uh, as far as which kinds of language changes uh, are happening where, I think that probably the best way to say it is rule of thumb. If if something is has been around for a while and is part of kind of the standard platformy kind of stuff, uh, you would say I would start with text replacements. And honestly, just go to text replacements first and check there. And then uh, the managed languages, as we'll see, is going to have a lot more stuff in it. So go check there second. But uh, text replacement is a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to start here. So uh, what I'm going to show now is uh, before uh, we do the text replacement. So here where it says pay targets, let's say for the sake of argument, again, with the cautions that we don't want to just go uh, through the system and make all sorts of changes to text labels just be, uh, just for the heck of it. It really needs to have a solid business reason. But let's just say that uh, incentive comp is a term that this, this business just cannot live without. And so they want to change this label from pay targets to uh, incentive compensation. So let's talk about, let's show how to do that. So because it's uh, within text replacements, um, we're going to go there and make the update. So I type in text replacement and I'm going to search for pay target. And I'm going to change that to incentive comp. and get to the bottom. Um, also, notice that this is, uh, I'm only changing the label in English. So obviously, again, to my point uh, earlier, that if you are making a change and you have multiple languages, you're going to need to think about uh, updating it in all the languages. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to do English. All right, so I've saved that. Go back to Arthur Smith. And you'll see, voila, that uh, that uh, label has changed. So that is the first 
uh, uh, place to go to make these changes, which is text replacement. Again, go here first. Uh, it's, it's a little bit easier to work with because we're not having to download files. So next we're going to look at uh, the managed languages, uh, which, I, which we can now do uh, without going to provisioning. So let's go there next. I'm going to demonstrate a change using the managed languages process. So uh, in this example, uh, you'll see that we have carry contractor and there's a banner at the top uh, that comes with contingent workforce management where we see the words uh, contingent worker. Um, it, let's say that you're working at a company and they have no idea what a contingent worker is and they want to change the labeling uh, to contractor. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to go to manage languages. And again, uh, 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 you'll see that we have multiple languages that we're going to be dealing with. And of course, if we're making changes, we would, uh, we would potentially need to make the updates in all of our languages. But again, I'm just going to do it in English. All right, so I'm going to go to this. First thing, uh, there's two parts to this. The first thing, I need to download the default label labels to know which ones I want to work with. So I'm going to do that first. And you'll see that I am already at contingent worker. And uh, so uh, these labels, so there, uh, you would need to find the words contingent worker. Um, I've already done a find, found the uh, area in the file that has what I need. You can see there's thousands um, of entries in this uh, file. As a matter of fact, this, this is on row 82,000. So that gives you an idea of the number of uh, labels that you have to deal with here. Um, so I'm just going to delete off everything except what I need. Now I will save this and I'm going to track. Okay, so now we have uh, got our file uh, more isolated and I'm going to make this update. So I'm gonna create a custom translation, give it a name, and now I will upload my file. Let's see, okay, so now it's uploaded. I've uploaded the file and you will see here, first off, let's go check and confirm that the, the change has uh, taken place. Okay, so you can see that after a few minutes, the uh, text is now available and you can see that it, uh, we've now changed from contingent worker to contractor. So going forward, once you have the custom language set up, uh, it's important to note that you have it here, you will need to click to download uh, your custom translation, you'll still need to download the standard, the default uh, translations because you need to know the uh, key that you will be using in order to update if you need to make any other changes in the future. So that's the process. Uh, be sure and if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and thanks for watching.